Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Pearl with me, Elwind. I talked to this old lady here in this retirement home, and apparently she gave me a random item, so I thought maybe I should start this episode and see if any of these old folks give me some items. Nice hat, dude. Oh man, traps. I love traps. I ran into tons of those underground. They're just my favorite things in the whole world. Woo, in which you can make a victor. Yeah. Okay. I'm out of here. This place is making me sad and depressed. See you guys later. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ooh, building. Let's go in here. I like how this world... Ah, oh, great. Nobody's in there. I'm wasting my two seconds. As I was saying, I like how I am able to go into anybody's house as I'd like and... They just let me in and be like, hey, what's up, guy? Hey, you know? You got some cookies? You want some cookies? Yeah, I love cookies. Hey, thanks, stranger. You're welcome, stranger. Hey, stranger, you want to sleep in my bed? Yeah, sure. I would love a rest. No problem, stranger. Here, here's a TM for your Pokemon. Oh, thanks, stranger. Man, you just walk into anybody's house any day you like. You know what? I feel like visiting that guy three blocks over. I've he looks like he needs a friend to talk to today. I'm just gonna go walk in and say hi. And then chat and then play some games and then go back home. It'll just be the perfect day. Nope, can't do that in this society. Can't just allow anybody to walk into your house because, you know, you just never know when that one thief will come in and break all your stuff. Or a bonzor come in and attack your house and your children. Darn negative people. Keeping society crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm so confused. This society's making me so confused. It's so confusing. Gah. Birds. Water gone wall. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna switch bees while weasel out. Uh, I'm gonna take the advice of that Zubat kid um, from earlier because uh, I'm gonna switch him out here in a sec. Um, I forgot to put him in a couple of hits, but apparently <laughs> Weasel hit himself. So, okay, now it's time I probably should. But uh, as I was saying, that Zubat kid had given me that advice that if I switch Pokemon out, they lose that confusion. Which is news to me, so I am going to take that advice. You know, talking about that Zubat kid, I think I'm going to go visit him one day. Even though he'll probably attack me from behind like the ninja he is, he's left an impression on me, so I should pay him a visit. Ned's Tide is confused now. Great. Good. Let's just switch him out. Why not? I can do this all day. Switch Pokemon out all day. Woo! Where's he go? Ah, great, now Hypnosis. This guy is like a bag of tricks. I do not like this guy. This it. Doesn't even have a gender. Can't even properly call him a guy. Man. He's like more annoying than those bwe- uh, not weasels. <laughs> those beavers that kept like coming out of nowhere all over the place. Except instead of coming out all over the place, they're just- this guy just keeps confusing all my Pokemon and put them all asleep and just put a bunch of stat problems. I mean, by the time this battle's over, I'm gonna have to give half my Pokemon team therapy, get their mindset back straight, so we can properly battle again. <sighs> and then I'm gonna have one Pokemon that's gonna be waking up here around midnight, so while everybody else is asleep, the Pokemon's gonna be all energetic and running around crazy and keeping everybody awake. This is not gonna be any fun. Which makes this Bronzor here now the most annoying Pokemon in my book. It's been checkmarked. Twice. Twice because this is doubly annoying. Freaking confusing! Yeah. Fine, Roselia, let's just end this. <laughs> just end this. The misery. Pain, please, Roselia. Please. 
freaking confused, Ray. This is so stupid. Mazzilia, do not fall for this. You are my top player. You do not need to be fooled. Dag damn it, Rosilia. Rosilia, come on. You're better than this. Okay, your imprison failed. You will never imprison Rosilia. Ever. It's just not gonna happen. Boom. One hit KO, come on. Come on. What? Not very effective. Ugh, great. Mega Drain did nothing. Here I thought Rosalia would just one hit KO this guy. Nope, never mind. We'll just two hit KO this guy. Yeah. While fully healing Rosalia. Yeah, I love Mega Drain. Mega Drain's amazing. Normally does a lot of damage. And like, half the time heals Rosalia up to like, near full health. <laughs> Or heals Roselli a lot, I should say. <laughs> 25? What? Oh, great. Roselli just got a ton, and uh, I'm switching out that experience here. Need to give it to somebody else. Roselli does not need it anymore. I gave it for Badoo, so that way, Roselli, that way Badoo can uh, level up. But uh, I need to give it <laughs> to Roselli. Or to give it to me, uh, somebody else, and here I am just simply talking about it, not actually doing it. Because I have to deal with the pony tough. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Awakening. Is it even worth it? Eh, no, it's not. Nope. I'm just going to deal with it. Switch it out with Staravia, why not? Staravia can, uh,. Take out the flames with its wing attacks. And intimidate the Ponyta with her good looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I don't even know. I just want this battle to be over! Please! Let it be over! Ponyta! Leave me alone! Wing attack! I'm going insane now! Alright, for real now. Let's, let's put this focus on the battle here. Ponyta has just growled, right? Saravia to shoot wing attack, right? Which resulted in a KO, because that was quite the critical hit. Everybody saw that. Slice to the neck. Oh yeah, Boizel 81, Saravia 81, Roselia a million. Yeah, 162, close enough. Uh. Okay, Roselia, you have officially abused the experience share. I'm gonna have to strip it from your chest and give it to another guy. I think it's more worthy. Metatite, I give you the badge of experience share. And while we're at it, I think I might teach Metatite something. Which one do I want to teach you? Rock tone. Actually, I don't even know if Metatite can learn any of these. Let's try Grass Knots. Oh, uh, because Grass Knot, I could teach Roselia. And that... I've actually kind of been meaning to do. Oh! I can actually teach Metatite Grass Knot. Alright. I was thinking I might use the uh, Thief one, or Rock Tome or something, but... You know what? I think that would give Metatite that upper edge. You know, nobody would expect Metatite to know a grass move, would they? Probably not. So when they see Metatite, they're like, oh, okay, the fighting psychic type, you know what? Yeah, I'm prepared. All of a sudden, a grass move comes out of nowhere. It'll throw my all of my opponents off guard. 
Yes. It's a brilliant idea. Now just to figure out which one I can get rid of. I don't even know which which one. All these are so good. And I think I should keep Meditate, because that's just part of Meditate, you know? That's like stripping him away of what his purpose is in life. Meditating. <sighs> bide. <laughs> Goodbye, Bide. Uh, that's probably a bad move. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to meditate. I was thinking of Bide, but... As well, because... No, it doesn't matter. I just use meditate, so let's do it. Actually, to be honest, <laughs> that was a freaking slip move. I didn't even want to do that. Freaking kidding me? It's too late. I was trying to play it cool, but that's making me angry. <laughs> Dang it. Freaking get got rid of meditate. I was just talking about how I should keep it, and that freaking... There should be an option of, are you sure you want to quit type of option? But nope, didn't give me that. <laughs> well, I'm out. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening.